Good evening, I'm Liz Ray, and thanks for joining us. Well, coming up in just a couple of days, if not sooner, one of the prime suspects will be back in Louisiana in connection to the murder of a Tanchipaho mother and her child. Tonight, a local former federal prosecutor explains what could come next in the case against Daniel Callahan when he arrives back in Louisiana. It is a tragic case that horrified the small community of La Ranger in Tanchipaho. A mother, Callie Brunette, found murdered in her home. Her two daughters kidnapped and taken to Jackson, Mississippi. Mississippi police find the girls, four-year-old Aaron murdered and the six-year-old injured. The suspect, the mother's ex-boyfriend, Daniel Callahan. He confessed on camera. No drugs in my system, I did. Why? Why did you kill the, the three-year-old girl? I have no reason for what I did. The question now, where will Daniel Callahan first go on trial since the alleged crimes happened in two different states? A little bit of a, a tug of war, um, civil, but nonetheless a civil tug of war of, uh, between the prosecutors in Tangipahoa and those over in Jackson, Mississippi, as well as the state of Mississippi and the U.S. Attorney's Office. Harry Rosenberg is a local former federal prosecutor. He says in cases like this, usually all of the prosecutors meet to reach a deal on which case will go first. However, he says so far it appears the first trial will happen in Tangipaho. It's based upon how quickly uh, the Tangipaho grand jury issued the indictment. But, of course, it, it's not going to take long, I suspect, for uh, a state grand jury uh, over in Jackson, Mississippi, to issue a similar indictment against Callahan and, and Cox. He also explains the federal charges to expect from the Mississippi U.S. Attorney. There's the what's known as the Mann Act of transporting young women across state lines. There's the um, Violent Crime Against Children Act, which goes back to the 1930s. But former federal prosecutor says he believes that it will be months before that first trial begins. As for Callahan's alleged accomplice, Victoria Cox, he says if she fights extradition back to Louisiana, that could prolong the case against her too.